Arkansas Customs. Arkansas Customs. Arkansas Customs. Think of Arkansas Customs. Yeah. Basically, Arkansas Customs is just uh, truck accessories is the main thing that most people recognize, like the lift kits, lowering kits on some trucks, wheels, tires. Um, essentially, it's just a, 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 a truck accessory store is what, what I tell everybody. Say Arkansas Customs and everybody's like, oh, I know, I got my truck down there. Oh, they did this guy's truck. You know, they did a really good job. We started the company three years ago and probably the worst economy that the U.S. has ever had. So to, to have basically everything lined up against you, you know, minimal money to work with, terrible economy, and here we are today on, we'll probably do close to $2 million in sales this year. Filed March the 1st in 2010. It was the actual filing date of the business, so um, just over three years now. Uh, it was open for two years, and then I came in for this last year. We've been here for three years, and I can tell just from last year we picked up so much, so we're still growing. Arkansas Customs, and you say that name and it seems like everybody knows exactly what you're talking about. Everybody's seen it or heard of it or, you know, saw it on TV. I started working on cars when I was about 14 years old. Um, start, like I said, as a hobby, you know, you kind of start tinkering with your own stuff. It grows from there. I was always kind of into the suspension side of things. Um, in general, just the functionality, the mechanics of it, the principle behind it, why it does what it does. Uh, you know, just a fascination, really. Uh, so from 14 on, been working ever since. Got a full-time job when I was 14. I guess you can say part-time, but full-time as it could be, as much as I could work when I was 14, um, and been working ever since, and so. You know, the main role is to try to be everybody's friend, really. You know, try to be their friend first, then their boss second, is kind of how I put it, because I know most of them personally, but the main roles are really, uh, you know, coordinating, picking up the vehicles, vendor relationships, employee relationships, uh, so many roles, <laughs> a little bit of everything. a lot more headaches involved in ownership than, than I'd say just meets the eye, you know? Like a lot of people think, oh, you have a nice shop. Oh, you must have money. Or you know, I mean, there's, there's a misconception of everything. You know, just because you have a nice shop or drive a nice car or whatever the case is, anybody can be in debt. You know, and that's why I tell people, if you got credit, your credit will tell you one thing, but reality will tell you another. Actually, I was kind of like cars my whole life and then did a bunch of engine work, got burned out on that, and now I wanted to try something new and Ryan only had a window tint. I was like, well, might as well give it a shot and end of it, you know, ended up really liking it and now I'm all the way up to an installer now. I used to be a prep guy and just worked my way all the way up. I cut all the side windows and install them and uh, our other guy, he uh, shrinks the back glass and installs the back glass, so I'm just doing all the sides where it's kind of teamwork back there, kind of help everybody out. <laughs> eight to five every day. Um, you know, we do about six to eight cars a day. You know, it kind of depends. And some days we'll, we're real slow and some days we're to the max. And we work late or come in early and just whatever it takes to get, it, get the job done. I've been working here since the Arkansas Customs for the last two years or so. Um, I did the dirt bike thing when I was little. And, you know, my dad had some cool cars and he was a painter and stuff, so, I mean, I was kind of always around it. 
I like the lift trucks. I think it's fun because you get a you really get a sense of you did something completely different. It's like it comes in completely one way, and when it leaves, it looks totally different. So suspension, I would say. I mean, for sure, I'm the suspension guy around here. A lot of uh, seven and a half inch lifts and 35 inch tires and a lot of Tahoes. Do a lot of leather, but really, it's it's. It's pretty diverse. Um, I know Austin Mayfield who started the Big Truck Mafia on a personal level, kind of those customer relationships that just developed into a friendship. Um, sponsored him on his first lift kit on his truck, and that's what kind of really helped grow the business. I took it as advertising, promoted his truck. Um, he probably brought in, if I said 15 to 20 kids that did lift kits or some form or fashion of a wheel and tire within about a six month time frame. Um, I want to take this to kind of another level where we can maybe get into detailing vehicles, we can maybe get into a little bit more paint work. Um, right now we're limited on the room. We're in about 5,500 square feet in this building and I rent 1,500 square feet to do our spraying bed liners. I would love to take it to about 10,000 square feet, all in their one space, with a pretty good sized retail showroom. Um, I don't have an outside salesperson right now, so we need to grow it into outside sales again, uh, bring in another electronics installer. So probably, in the next year, you'll probably see 10,000 square feet, and you'll probably see the addition of two to three more employees. Um, but no, I want to I grow it into something that we actually can maybe land in one location and own a building instead of leasing a building. So, thanks to coming.